Well, welcome everyone. I call the November 6, 2024 Planning Commission meeting to order. The main purposes of tonight's meeting is to conduct public hearings on the 2024 Imagine Bothell Comprehensive Plan and the Bothell Municipal Code Development Regulation Amendments. These two items will be considered separately. Before we move on to the agenda items, I'd like to acknowledge our meeting format, <coughs> our hybrid meeting format, rather, <coughs> excuse me. The City of Bothell is providing the option to attend this meeting either in person or remotely via Zoom. For those participating via Zoom, the chat and question functions are not available for use to ensure compliance with the Open Public Meetings Act. We have a public comment agenda item at the beginning of the meeting. This time is for comments on issues not scheduled for hearing on tonight's agenda. Comments on items scheduled for hearing should be made during the hearing. Please limit all comments to three minutes. Please note that the City of Bothell does not tolerate verbal harassment. Public comment will be allowed both in person and via Zoom. Those wishing to comment via Zoom are asked to submit an online form by 3 p.m. today. People wishing to submit written comments were also asked to submit those comments by 3 p.m. Email was encouraged as well and will be acknowledged, although I don't believe we received any. Those in attendance may also make comments and have been asked to indicate their desire to comment on the sign-in sheets. The Imagine Bothell notice, the city website, and tonight's agenda all provided information to the public for providing comments. The video of this meeting will be streamed live, as well as recorded and available for viewing later on the city's YouTube channel. A call-in number was provided on the meeting agenda for members of the public who wish to call in by phone to listen live to the meeting. For our phone-in callers, during staff presentations, staff will make every effort to specify which materials they are referencing so that everyone may follow along. At this point, I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the attendance of the commissioners. Commissioner Jones. Here. Participating remotely. Commissioner Westerbeck. Here. Uh, Commissioner Lever. We're. But she did indicate she would be attending. So I'm okay. Sure so we'll expect her shortly. Traffic can be challenging with the bridge. Commissioner Robson. Here. Ooh. And injured. <laughs> Commissioner Sills. Here. And Commissioner Gustafson. Here. Thank you, Commissioners. In addition, Community Development Director Jason Greenspan, Deputy Community Development Director Gates, and Jesse Hartman from Burke, consulting or attending, and Transportation Supervisor Rahed Tirhi from the Public Works De Department are also in attendance. Lastly, before we begin, I'd like to reiterate some meeting guidelines. For all meeting attendees, please speak clearly and pause frequently. State your name each time before speaking. Mute your microphone when not speaking. If you are also streaming the live video feed, please turn off the sound as there is a delay. At specific breaks in the presentation, I will be calling on members who wish to speak or ask a question. If you want to speak, please indicate this by raising your hand and I will call on you as I see you. This will help avoid the problem of two people speaking at the same time. Identify yourself before you ask a question, make a motion, second a motion, or participate in debate. And please mute your microphone when not speaking. The first item on the agenda is public comment. The city has accepted visitor comment in writing as well as accepted sign-on sheets for those who wish to speak at tonight's meeting. Those, who, those speaking will have three minutes. Written comments submitted to staff no later than 3 p.m. today were forwarded to all commissioners and are part of the record. This time is for items not on tonight's agenda. And we did not receive anything forwarded, correct? Okay. If there are any Zoom commenters, we'll call on them one at a time for comments up to three minutes. Uh, anyone in the audience like to speak? Okay, then wait for the hearing to open and that would be the appropriate time for that. Any other items can be addressed right now. Uh, anyone in Zoom want to make a comment on items not on the agenda? Seeing none, then we will move on. The first item before us is the approval of the October 6th minutes. Is there a motion to approve the minutes? Commissioner Westerbeck. Uh, Commissioner Westerbeck here. I move to uh, approve the minutes as written. 
All right. Is there a second? Commissioner Lever, approve. Commissioner Lever, present. Uh, Lever, present. And um, present. <laughs> <laughs> present and second. <laughs> yes. Thank you. All right. Any discussion around the minutes? Looking up and down the dais and uh, across the Zoom, seeing none. All right. All in favor of approving the minutes, please indicate so by saying aye. 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 All right. The minutes are approved unanimously. Thank you all. The next item on the agenda is a public hearing. This meeting will, this hearing will be conducted in accordance with the uh, commission's bylaws. So the purpose of the, fir the first hearing will be on the 2024 Bothell Comprehensive Plan Periodic Update. The proposed 2024 Comprehensive Plan Periodic Update is uh, conducted following the State Growth Management Act update guidelines and will update and amend the Bothell Comprehensive Plan. The update responds to guidance and requirements established under the GMA and other recently passed legislation. The proposed updates and policies to the policies and goals will guide the development over the next 20 years. So with that, I will open the public hearing and I believe we have a brief staff presentation. Okay. Good evening, everybody. Uh, glad to be here tonight. Uh, thank you for the time. Thank you for making it here. Uh, just wanted to give a brief overview of where we are, make sure we're, we're crystal clear on uh, the public hearings tonight. Uh, we're going to break them into two just for consistency uh, on the comp plan and then on the Botham Municipal Code development regulation updates that are associated with those. Uh, a couple of uh, just housekeeping items, making sure everyone's aware of where we are. We have moved through uh, most of phase four with this being the second to last meeting uh, scheduled for the Planning Commission uh, with the public hearing, taking into account the final development regulation discussions that we've gone through this fall, uh, the final sub area plans, uh, and then uh, prior uh, achieving the preferred alternative. So we're, we are almost there. Uh, tonight, we want to make sure that we get the, 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 the feedback, any, any additional input from the community uh, for both of the items, and then move through to have a, a brief discussion at the end to consider uh, the, the draft findings, conclusions, and recommendation that staff provided to you uh, for uh, consideration, sort of get those ideas going, uh, and, and determine if there's some things that you'd like us to add before we come back um, next time. The two things that I want to make sure we, we do chat about were last discussed with the Planning Commission in October, uh, and then finally last night with City Council, just to clarify the direction. So the, the, the two items in red, uh, shifting the, den the max density uh, to 12 units per acre for the RL2, uh, 25 units per acre for the RM1, that is what the Planning Commission agreed, agreed to and wanted us to take uh, forward, and, and City Council agreed with that last night. Uh, just for clarity, I want to make sure everyone is, is in, the, in the know of what that would mean in the Bothell Municipal Code, so not part of the, the materials that had been provided up until we knew this was the direction we were going to go. So the couple of little changes. Uh, for the RL2 column, it would shift that 5,400 square foot minimum lot area to 3,600. That's the equivalent of 12 units per acre. Uh, the RM1 would eliminate that 4,000 square foot minimum and shift to a 25 unit max per acre. So it would kind of lean into what the other RM zones have. So I just want to make sure that that's, that's clear. That will be in the final materials that go forward. Uh, to City Council on the 19th for their for their hearing, and uh, provided there's no additional changes at that point, that's what would be adopted. So uh, the other the other item really is a is a, a few other things just to make sure you were all clear where we landed. Pushing off a few items to phase two uh, density, nothing's changing. 
it aligns with the future land use map, it meets our growth targets. Uh, floor area ratio meets our employment targets for the for the zones. The the conversations around potentially eliminating FAR, uh, we can we can have those and we will have those next year. Um, but we need uh, to wrap up this year and and that would take some time. So uh, the floor area ratio, along with residential lot coverage, uh, we will be pushing off future conversations to consider how we evaluate those, um, and then. Just wanted to make sure that the the final sub areas that were incorporated within the packet were part of just the consistency update with the comprehensive plan. No substantive changes, um, many many edits. The only the only I guess real edit was the the name change to Midtown for for that sub area. Uh, the 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 other two sort of sideline items were just making sure we highlight these looking at the comprehensive plan map the final draft was in the packet uh, it incorporated the preferred alternatives and focuses solely on those land use designations within the comprehensive plan this is that sort of peeling apart the two the, the, the singular map we currently have into two so we've got a comprehensive plan map and then we have a new zoning map uh, that were in that was in the packet uh, it includes all the new zoning designations, the residential changes, and, and the, the markups that you, you would have seen in this packet. Uh, this is a much cleaner version as we move through with our, our GIS group to finalize that. It'll be a really nice, uh, nice clean map, and it'll really improve readability, usability for everyone uh, on, on the development side. Uh, with that, uh, just want to make sure if, if there are any uh, any thoughts, any anything at the end of the hearings to uh, commence a conversation about the, the findings, conclusions, and recommendation, uh, happy to do that and answer questions that come up from any comments tonight, any questions that come up from Planning Commission. Um, and then our next steps would be public hearing with City Council and final adoption on the 10th after we have that meeting on the 20th with with you all. Um, and everything that we've got going on is scheduled to take effect January 1 of 2025, achieving that uh, end of year deadline. So that's it for me. And uh, I'll, be, I'll be on the sidelines <laughs> to answer questions at the end, unless there are any immediate ones or at this point. Any clarifying questions from the commissioners before we have a full discussion after hearing from the public? Looking up and down and about. Mr. Westerbeck. Just real quick one. So the development uh, regulation code, along with obviously the comp plan, both go into effect on January 1st? Correct. Okay. Just verifying. Good. Any other clarifying questions or comments? Seeing none, then let's move to the public comments, the comment portion of this hearing. Um, I believe we have an individual in the audience who would like to speak. Please step up to the podium there and you'll have three minutes. Good evening. Oops, you need to push the button and you get a little light like this. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. Uh, so, Tim Jackson, uh, our PMF Capital is an administrative manager for several entities that own properties in Bothell, and we've been sending letters to staff trying to understand certain things. So, I'm not really sure that, my, that I have comments necessarily pointed as much as we're just we're kind of confused about stuff and we've been sending letters since about the middle of the summer um, trying to understand certain things and I'll try to kind of list them off is but looking at your timeline it looks like you're getting close to adopting and we're dealing with several I think one of the staff members appropriately said there's several comp plans going on uh, in Washington State and I'm I apologize I can't stay for the whole meeting tonight because we have three comp plan meetings and I got to kind of go talk about different issues at different ones but one of our, well, we have a couple of issues. One of the issues is out at North Creek. We're still trying to figure out the mixed use employment. Uh, one of the entities owns the North Creek Plaza Shopping Center there. And we've come in and had a pre-app on the retail side of it. That is for various reasons that I've had good conversations with staff and staff's been great as far as kind of listening and hearing that stuff out. But from the mixed use development side of it, if that's something that we could possibly pull off someday, we're kind of scratching our heads because back in the day that was like 100% surface lot coverage, kind of unlimited height, and you could do 
you know, mixed use development in Avalon Bay obviously did their big project. And then it went to something that's very hard for us to understand with like a really high minimum FAR, but then a 60% surface lot coverage. And, you know, we've been around East King County for decades. We work with some of the best architects in the United States and we're all scratching our heads about like, it, it just, we've never seen anything like this anywhere. And so it's, we don't under kind of stand what, what happened to get to where we are now. And staff's been understanding about that as well. I don't think that they necessarily were very, um, the current staff necessarily was very involved in that. But now all of a sudden we're kind of going back to a five story issue. And the problem is if you think about out there, we have sewer easements like regional sewer and we have regional power lines and things like that. So to get the density, like we can't build on certain portions of those assets because there's century long easements that we can't touch or can't do anything without. And then there's also setbacks that come in from that street that were part of the original uh, design that Plum Creek did with Tom Lindquist back in the day in like the 80s or 90s. So it looks like a lot of land, but the amount you can actually go vertical is not so much. So we're trying to figure out what the thought is there on doing five stories as far as like trying to get density if there's a thought. Because when we look at the current entitlement of it, it would make it very difficult to kind of get a mixed use building in that type of scenario. So we're just, in our motto of the company, like we don't, we're just trying to get questions answered. Like what is it that's trying to be achieved so we know what, what we should do out there for the company or for the, for the you know, to do the best job we can. Oh, sorry, yeah. I'm out of time. No, nope, three minutes. Oh, okay. Uh, so, so um, yeah, sorry, yeah, I had a couple of things, but, Okay, sorry. Um, and then the only other ones is, I, it, it feels to me like maybe something down the road and I saw up there is gonna happen in the downtown. But we have other assets in the downtown. One of them in particular is the market building where we're trying to work with tenants to get that vacancy filled. But the, you know, maybe that should be mixed use redevelopment. When you think about these comp plans, you just said, sometimes they go 10, 20 years. When we were working on Bellevue's comp plan, that was like the first time they'd really touched it since like the 1980s. It took like five or six years to get that figured out. So we have to think a long ways in the future when these things are coming through. And that property in particular has like a, a, a zoning entitlement line that goes right down the middle of it. All right. And yeah, we're trying to okay. figure that out. And I think there's there's a line in the code that addresses that, but we don't really understand. So I, I guess our point tonight is we're just trying to figure out for our letter that we submitted, <coughs> if staff is addressing this now or later, yes or no, we, irregardless, we're just trying to look for answers. All right, thank you. Okay. Thank you. You do have the department leadership here, so they've heard your, your comment. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you for bringing that to our attention. Thank you. Is there anyone on Zoom who wishes to comment? <coughs> no, okay. Well, seeing none, then uh, I think that's uh, it for public comments. Now we have uh, questions by the commission. We can ask clarifying questions. Any uh, uh, clarifying questions from commissioners, particularly in response to what we just heard? Mm -hmm. Commissioner Westerbeck? Uh, Commissioner Westerbeck, um, this is partially to the public comment. I hope you saw that we, we may be tackling some FAR stuff. Um, yeah, because my, my concern is, as someone who is kind of allied in your business, um, when we overlay FAR with setbacks and height and stuff, it's sort of using two different systems that do the same thing. And so I understand where that confusion would come from. Any other commissioner comments? Questions? Seeing none, um, is there any objection to closing the hearing? All right, seeing no objection. Um, oops. Um, yes. Chair Kiernan, thank you. I do have a statement to make on the role of the 2024 comprehensive plan, and I'm wondering, would this be the appropriate time to make that statement, or would it be after? Um, this, I think you can make that statement now. This is okay. questions, comments by, by the commissioners. Thank you. Our comprehensive plan is a travel guide. But instead of showing us a different place, it shows us a different time. From the near future to the next 20 years of Bothell's history. Just like a travel guidebook, our comprehensive plan has different elements. Where you'll stay, housing, 
how you'll get around transportation, the infrastructure, the places and culture that make where you're going special, and most importantly, the different residents you'll want to meet, whether these are human, animal, plant, or otherwise. Some residents who have joined the previous public comment here have asked, why are we diverging from the 2015 comprehensive plan? Are we, the planning commission and staff, abrogating our principles? Do we break our loyalty to the city when we honor the path that the previous comp plan has taken, but set out a different path going forward? Let's face that question head on. The answer is no. We do not discard our loyalty to Bothell with this comp plan. Instead, we fulfill it. The comp plan is the new edition of our travel guide to the future. It adapts a decade later, as does any map or guide worth its salt. And like a travel guide, the comp plan has some itineraries which we will follow, and some which we might set out to follow, but go on a different journey. And that's why we keep updating it. The comprehensive plan is a living document. It needs to be written by many people across the city. And it is the city and us inhabitants who will use this guide to create the future. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioner Gustafson. Um, so with that, um, I think we'll close the hearing. I didn't see any objections to that. Any further deliberations? And I'm going to look, uh, Deputy Director Gates, I think we should hold the findings, conclusions, and recommendations still after both hearings, correct? Yeah, that, that, that works. OK. So we, we may wrap back around to some of this when we get to those that part. But uh, other deliberations, other general comments commissioners would like to make uh, before we act on this? Looking around the table and seeing none. Okay, I think we, uh, pursuant to the comment I just made, we're going to hold action on the findings, conclusions, and recommendations on the plan until we also have the hearing on the development regulations, and then we will address both in a single document, the findings, conclusions, and recommendations, which were included in the, in the packet. So with that, I think we'll move to the second public hearing on the Bothell Municipal Code Development Regulation Amendments. And this concerns various development regulation amendments proposed within the Bothell Municipal Code related to the drafted comprehensive plan updates. So with certain elements in the plan, the code needs to be brought into to consistency with the plan. So uh, Deputy Director Gates, do you have anything to say on the code amendments? No, nothing further to add at this point. Okay. So um, consider the previous uh, presentation we had on it. Any clarifying questions on the development regulation amendments? Looking up and down the table. Seeing none. Okay. Any public comments on the proposed regulations? And I'll ask the same question, anyone on Zoom? No? Okay, thank you. Seeing no public comments, um, it's time for any questions. If uh, commissioners have any questions, we certainly don't have anything to follow up on based on public comment, but anything else? No? All right, thank you all. Then we will close the public hearing. Are there any objection to closing the public hearing from the commissioners? All right, seeing none, then the public hearing is closed. Uh, now it's time for deliberations. Uh, and I think we can roll into deliberations on the findings, conclusions, and recommendations. Uh, does everyone have that before them? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so I'm going to 
walk through this document skipping over some of the boilerplate information in it. So the first thing on the findings is the history and I didn't check every date but I'm trusting that staff got them all and I don't know that anyone has any comments on the history. Please stop me if you do. Location is Bothell citywide and the action is the plan and the associated uh, code amendments. There is a, a review of the public meetings we've had and discussion of the notice. Now on to the specific findings and deliberations. So first num item number six here says we make the following specific findings regarding the proposed comprehensive plan amendment. These findings are based on information provided to the planning commission by staff, public testimony received during the study session and hearing, and com planning commission deliberations. Uh, Item seven talks about the uh, Puget Sound region, the need for infrastructure, and the need to uh, have affordable housing while reasonably and responsibly protecting the environment and existing com uh, community members. Any comments on number seven? All right, number eight talks about incorporation of growth of housing and development and employment needs over the next 20 years, increases density throughout the city. Comp plan policies must consider the potential for maintenance, retention, and expansion of parks and over open space by the future community. Any comments on that? I, I had a, a little thought, a question mark. That almost seems like two thoughts and I defer if people are comfortable with where it is. But there's one statement about growth, <clears throat> employment, and housing, and the next statement talks about the need for parks and open space. Do we like that as one, or separate it, or leave it as is? Make a good point. Commissioner Westbrook, I'm just saying I agree. You make a good point. There's kind of two different topics there. Uh, Commissioner Robson. I just wanted to agree with you as well, Chair. That um, does seem like two different points and might be better served with two different numbers. Okay. Other comments from uh, Commissioners? Commissioner Lever, I second that. I just agree. Okay. So uh, you catch that comment? All right. We'll move on to. Number nine, which talks about the elements of the plan. I'm not going to read all of them, A through N, but uh, I think it's a pretty, dare I say, comprehensive list. <laughs> um, please stop me if you do have comments. Uh, number 10 talks about the future land use map amended during the June 5th, June 26th, and July 3rd meetings and documented with memos and presentations and we also saw the final flume map tonight. Comments on that? Seeing none. Um, number 11 says the zoning map updates as drafted at the November 6, 2024 Planning Commission meetings based on the final flume and discussions, established new zoning assignments, zoning map updates, respond to the land use and housing element residential comments. Any comments there? And I'm afraid I've got another nit here. Um, I, I paused over the zoning map was drafted at the meeting. Was it, wasn't it drafted after the meeting? We didn't sit here and draft it. Maybe presented after the meeting or drafted based on discussions at the meeting. Yeah, yeah we can make that change. That makes, that makes more sense. Can't help myself. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, number 12 talks about additional review, which will ha which has happened. They were submitted to comments, uh, to commerce, rather. And the fi following final adoption will also go to the Department of Commerce in accordance with GMA requirements. 12 talks about SEPA review. Final analysis, uh, final EIS will be done in considering mitigation of impacts. And then 14 is a list of exhibits. I will not go through all of them. Um, 15, public testimony. And uh, we did have 
an additional bit of testimony tonight, which I assume will be added. Okay. And then conclusions. So this is kind of the meat of it. Very important that we, we have this say what the commission wants to say to the council as they review this. For <coughs> excuse me. First conclusion, the draft 2024 comprehensive plan has been drafted, noticed, and reviewed by the public and considered by the Planning Commission in accordance with all the applicable laws of the State of Washington and City of Bothell and the requirements established by the Department of Commerce for public engagement and notification. I'll pause. Uh, next comment, uh, next conclusion, the recommended draft Bothell Municipal Code amendments responsive to the 2024 plan updates has been drafted, noticed, reviewed by the public, considered by the Planning Commission in accordance with all applicable laws of the State of Washington City of Bothell and requirements established by the Department of Commerce for public education and notification. Comments? I'm afraid I've got a grammar question. The plan update has been drafted or it refers to the amendments, which is plural, so should it say have been? My mother dra drilled grammar into me, so. Okay. Um, number three, the recommended draft 2024 comprehensive plan update is necessary according to the growth management plan periodic update requirements and recently passed legislation. Number four, recommended future land use map as amended through planning commission discussion and recommendation and deliberation establishes land use designations throughout the city of Bothell that complies with housing growth targets for housing and employment established under the GMA, recent state legislation and countywide growth policies. Comment number five. The recommended zoning map as amended through the Planning Commission discussion and deliberation establishes land use zoning designations throughout the city of Bothell that are responsive to and consistent with the drafted 2024 comprehensive plan update and future land use map. And the final conclusion, the drafted the recommended draft 2024 comprehensive plan, including all draft elements as proposed to date and the associated draft municipal code amendments are in the best interests of the public health, safety, and welfare. So those are the conclusions that represent our work over quite some period of time. Any comments, any discussion, uh, additions, deletions, modifications? Commissioner Jones. Uh, Chair, I think you missed one edit um, in number four, the recommended land use, future land use map as amended through planning commission discussion and deliberation establishes land use designations throughout the city of Bothell that comply. I believe it's referring to designations, comply is reversed. Okay. Is in reference to a plural designations. Okay, I so paused I'm just there. Following but... your grammar. <laughs> I think it's important. Thank you. Uh, comments on that? All right. Thank you for that. As I read it, I thought it. I didn't catch it when I saw it on paper, but it sounded like that. Any other comments? Seeing none then uh, our recommendation is, based on these conclusions and recommendations, the Bothell Planning Commission recommends the City Council proceed with the proceed adoption, should say proceed with the adoption of the drafted 2024 comprehensive plan update, including all 14 elements and associated appendices and the associated Bothell Municipal Code amendments found herein under the step, on the exhibit section blank, which you'll fill in, of the findings, conclusions, and recommendation. Are we comfortable with that recommendation as a commission? All right, I think the appropriate next step then is for a motion from the commission uh, adopting these findings, conclusions, and recommendations. Is there such a motion? Commissioner Robson. I move to uh, adopt 
Is that what I'm hearing? Move to adopt these uh, recommend findings, recommendations, and conclusions. All right. Is there a second? Commissioner Lever, second. Okay. It has been moved and seconded that we adopt the Planning Commission findings, conclusions, and recommendations as discussed this evening with some minor edits. All in favor of this adoption, please indicate by saying aye. 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 All right, we have a unanimous vote adopting these. This is quite the milestone. I want to recognize all the work that the staff has done in this, uh, uh, both present and past staff, because there have been a, a, a lot of people working on this for a long time. Uh, it is a major accomplishment, so I want to congratulate you guys for getting it this far and pull it across the finish line with the council. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Thank you uh, to everyone that has put their their energy into this uh, staff before Jesse with Burke, the staff at Burke, uh, and and all of you that have put in the hours, uh, pouring over my apologies, hundreds of pages of <laughs> of, of materials. Um, but you know, we, we look forward to this being our, our guiding document, our on our our journey uh, as we move forward, and look forward to the next time we we need to update it. And and thanks to the community for their consistent input um, on, on, the, on the materials here. And thank you for recognizing the community. There have been a number of workshops. There have been a lot of folks who spoke to this. Um, I, I believe, well, we've heard them. Uh, we haven't, you know, everyone doesn't always agree with the final outcome, but people should rest assured that we have listened carefully and I'll speak for the commission that uh, we did listen and appreciate that feedback. So thank you to anyone in the audience and it looks at this later. So with that, I think that agenda item is complete. The public hearing is complete. Um, I don't, you, you indicated it would be heard again at the next meeting. If, if, the, if the, the commission has adopted the findings, conclusions, and recommendations, then we, we won't uh, need to include that uh, for the 20th. Uh, so, yeah. All right. That, that sounds good. No point in reopening what, what is concluded. So with that, uh, again, we should take a breath and recognize the significance of this action. It is a plan that the city will be using for... Uh, a fair amount of time into the future. So I want to thank all the commissioners for your thoughtful work on this as well. So moving along, our next item is reports from members. Uh, any of our members, commissioners, have anything you'd like to bring to the group? Boy, seeing none. I'm, I'm surprised I was ready for this to be a long one and it's uh, <laughs> almost a record short one. Um, Staff, anything for the commission? Just a couple of updates. Uh, next week at the city council meeting on the 12th, there will be a study session about the downtown sub area plan. So the work that we will begin, uh, a briefing on that for the for the city council, uh, our roadmap for the, the future of that project. Um, and then just an update on, uh, and, and uh, a thanks to staff who were out in the rain on trick or treat on Main Street. Uh, they created a coloring book for kids and handed out those 860 of them, I believe, uh, crayons, some candy, uh, and, and we are hopeful that, uh, that that coloring book, which included information about upcoming projects, the Urban Forestry uh, Master Plan, Management Plan, the Housing Action Plan, and Downtown. Uh, so looking forward to either the, the, those kids or, or their parents uh, reaching out and wanting to, to get involved and be a part of, of that work as we move forward. So um, just a, a unique new way to, to do our outreach. Uh, so finding all, all uh, facets for that. Well, good. And you will accept comments in crayon, correct? We will. We will. Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Thank you. Um, Mr. Westerberg. I know we're <clears throat> kind of reversing now because it's a report from member. I forgot to mention, um, I know Chairman Kiernan and I attended the, because um, you were talking about city things, the um, open house for the park at Bothell Landing progress, design progress, because it sort of overlaps with planning commission work. It was pretty exciting. I thought that the, <clears throat> the chosen option was coming along really nicely, and it's really exciting to see the progress on that. I imagine they work with you guys a bit as well. So, um Anyway, it seems like it was pretty well received by the public as well. 
had a second that. That was a really interesting uh, open house. So, anything else from members or staff? Seeing none, as mm -hmm. I said. Oh. Um, Commissioner yeah. Gustafson here. On September the 23rd, I was lucky enough to attend an open house at Bothell United Methodist Church where Commissioner Westerbeck was to share information and frequently asked questions about the Lot P project. It was extremely fascinating and helpful. If Commissioner Westerbeck has any um, comments to add, that would be great, but I brought my son and he was able to learn about what the future of Bothell might look like and most importantly, talk about how the whole community of Bothell might be involved in supporting, volunteering, or donating to the affordable housing in our center. Yeah, that, there's probably a lot that could be said there, so I'll just keep it brief. But yeah, we did a, uh, as a <clears throat> development group, uh, the church and the uh, uh, bridge development, our, our chosen development partner, we did a uh, information session because to sort of try to get as much good factual information about the project out as there out there and we thank you guys for coming that was great <clears throat> and your son had good questions and everything it was fun but um to a little a brief update on that um that's slated for the lot p south uh, city property and it's currently um the purchase and sale agreement uh, has a certain timeline in which it has to be done. It was extended recently by council and um, the city and uh, the project's attorneys are sorting through all the, 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 you know, details. So that's where we're at with that. And it's still, you know, several years out, but um, it's moving along on uh, as planned. More information on that to come in time, but I won't bore everyone with it tonight, but thanks for bringing that up. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Since we're so early, we can be a little less formal. If anything else, <laughs> <laughs> any other comments from staff or commissioners? Well, then, being no further business, um, is there a motion to adjourn? Commissioner Lever. Commissioner Sells, I move to adjourn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I looked one way and spoke the other. I'm sorry, Commissioner Sills. Is there a second? Commissioner Westbrook here, I second the motion to adjourn. All right. All in favor, adjourn? Aye. 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 All right. Well, thank you all uh, on this short but momentous meeting. We are adjourned. Our next meeting is November 20.